This clip is about simulation and immersion. And the reason why I'm offering this clip up at this time is basically Emergent Play. Uh, that channel is inspiring, I think. It's raising the bar uh, for RPG discussion, an already high bar for RPG discussion on YouTube. And just the, the overall approach, it's inspiring. Plus, uh, we got into a discussion on an earlier clip which uh, went off topic and this is the direction in which that topic was going. So without further ado, simulation. What is it? What isn't it? Let's begin with what it isn't. I see a lot of commentary about simulation which doesn't jibe very well with how I see it. So. Simulation is not being required to role-play bladder and bowel-voiding behaviors. It's not every minute of every day. Simulation is not uh, a tabletop version of one of those real-time strategy games without time compression. And most importantly, it's not impossible to achieve. It's not inherently prone to stalling. And it's not as depressing as real life. It's none of these things. What is simulation? Well, to me, it's a, it's a collaboration in the shared creation and discovery of a world in which a great many things are happening. And I can get involved in any of them. It's the freedom to earn success or failure and explore the outcomes of each often with a good level of immersion in the world and investment in the game. It's an opportunity to think, feel, and see the world, see my group's creativity, and see myself in new ways. Why game this way? Really the, the heart of the matter. Why should someone try gaming this way? Particularly if you have nothing wrong with the way that you're playing now. Okay, for simulation, or for people who enjoy simulation, navigating planned encounters through a planned character arc to a planned conclusion only offers satisfaction in terms of our ability to contribute dialogue to the flow of the story or some kind of cool stunt uh, during a sequence. Uh, What's lacking for us is the ability to shape the story as we play, and for everyone at the table to discover the story as it happens, including the Game Master. We find that systems geared toward character success, because they're heroes, you know, or systems which avoid the concept of internal consistency of the world and its characters, they lack the sorts of challenge that we enjoy. We find success is more interesting when it's earned by the appropriate use of abilities and knowledge acquired and demonstrated through the course of the game. So this style allows meaningful challenges, and as such, it provides rewards for the pursuit of those challenges, which are yours, not a de facto prize for just showing up. Finally metagame considerations are greatly reduced in this style of play. And for those who find metagaming unsatisfactory, distracting, problematic, whatever, simulation provides the path of least resistance to avoid it. So I said there was going to be talk of immersion. I haven't really been talking about immersion that much. Or have I? Immersive gameplay is not exclusive to simulation, but I have found that it's easier to maintain when the universe conforms to consistent rules. And rules that may be altered depending on dramatic necessity, you know, for example, tend to work against immersion and they tend to promote metagaming. They target the player, not the player as their character. They don't engage the character. So they disrupt immersion. So in simulation, the resolution method and the environment, the way the environment is brought to life, 
supports immersion. Immersion, as I intend it here, simply means adopting the point of view of the character as if they and the world they're inhabiting were real. That the choices that they make have consequences, have ramifications that extend beyond the now. In plainer words, it's playing the role sincerely and consistently, committing to looking through the eyes of that character as if it were real. It's not acting. Finally, simulation contributes or often allows players to form a strong emotional connection with the outcomes of events in the game. Really due to the relatively pure genesis of those outcomes through the use of the game system. And the player's understanding of the setting and identities of the characters and the sense of the sense of ownership of achievements earned in play. That's where it comes from. This can cause a group to develop an immersive style over time without even being aware of it, uh, to better experience that, that emotional connection to what they are doing. Right? They've committed to, to responding to events and setting events in motion uh, consistent with the character whose role they've created. It's an immersive experience from the beginning, but it can become more so over time. All right, I'm done. So what's next? Well, because this topic is near and dear to me, I do plan on uh, posting short uh, items to this YouTube channel and to my blog, Casting Shadows, uh, with examples of, rather than discussing what the thing is, let's actually show it. So I plan to share short uh, pieces both in text and video, on how to build a campaign in this style for a target audience uh, of people who have never tried simulation or who may be confused about what it really is because of the variation in how the terms are used across the internet and other publications. Uh, and, you know, just for the those who believe, like I do, that gaming is a skill which can be improved and talking about it, sharing it, and practicing it are the ways to improve it. To be clear, I don't feel this is the one true way to game. It's a way that speaks most strongly to me, and I'd like to share the enjoyment I get from it. Uh, I do feel that simulation tends to get the short shrift more often than the other, other play styles, and so I'm adding my voice to those who support it. Um, that's all. Check out the links below, one of which is mine, uh, the rest uh, are quite serious about uh, what simulation is. Some are quite academic. Some require real work to read through. If you're interested, it's an interesting journey. If you're not interested, I tried. Thanks for watching. <laughs>